One UI 7 Beta 2 has just been released guys. I installed it on my S24 Ultra and let's check some of the new things here. Now first things first, the build number now is ZXL5. I sideloaded it from the first update. If you want to check out this is done, you can check my video and also go on XDA and download the latest firmware. Now, this time Samsung hasn't been so limited on change a lot and there are indeed a lot of things here. Some general improvements and among them reduced display errors related to now bar. There was a glitch when you were touching the now bar, it wouldn't go away after you close it. And now this is fixed, just a short reminder, what the heck is the now bar? This is a new functionality from One UI 7 that will appear on your always on display, but also on your lock screen, right? And certain things are supported like media players, maps, also voice recorder and the timer. The issues with the now bar are now fixed. So when you click here, you can see your last activity. And when you expand it, you can see the previous one or just swipe to switch them. If you don't like this, of course, you can just do left or right and just go away. Also some fixes for app visuals. There was a small issue with how apps in the personal drawer were shown, which now has been sorted out. Everything should look as it should. Now guys, this is the app drawer. This is the standard version. I really didn't notice any issues. And by the way, when you click here and you click sort and you choose the alphabetical order, yeah, the so much awaited and requested vertical app drawer is here. I was not able to spot any issues, but there were some issues and now those are fixed as well. Connectivity and functionality, wireless connection. If you are having trouble connecting your phone to some TV models using DeX, this has been fixed. And I really hope that they will expand the DeX wireless functionality to be compatible also with Chromecast. Okay, now widgets transparency. The reminder widget wasn't playing nice with transparency settings before. Now you need to update the app to see the transparency effect properly. Always after firmware updates or system updates, just go to store click on menu and hit the update guys because a lot of the Samsung stock applications have updates and you need to update them as well. Let's test this right now. This is my reminder widget. I'm gonna click the settings and there is something called the background. It should look like this when I save it and apparently it does. It works flawlessly and it wasn't the case before. And let's add another reminder widget here like this is the boss reminder widget. I'm gonna hold the finger click on the settings, remove the background and confirm or not. Yeah, I think I can confirm. And now we're slowly approaching the more interesting stuff, namely performance enhancements. Why? Well, we have something called app switching. Switching between apps on the recent screen should feel faster and smoother now. No more waiting around. This is exactly one of the main things we want from One UI 7 to be really as smooth as possible. So, you know what? Let me just close everything here. I have a lot of things open, guys. I'm going to open a lot of apps right now and try to switch them from the recent menu to see how it's gonna work. So let's open Telegram. Okay, go outside. Let's open the Messenger. Let's open Viber, Facebook. Let's open also X Beta. Let's go and also open YouTube. And now let's continue with the Samsung stock apps. I'm going to open the calendar. I'm gonna go and open calculator open clock all right let's open also samsung notes and now let's check up switching from the recent menu all right so i'm here let's go here all right let's just scroll and let's open this one i don't think it was that bad before mm, there is by the way something weird guys see the moment i just go here and i select the first up i think yeah see there is something weird the moment i enter and i do like this there is a certain luxy, not so visible on the camera. Let's do some further checks. I'm gonna open Spotify and then I'm gonna open my wearable. I do, by the way, use the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra and also the Buds 3. So let's open also Mixcloud and now let's check. Something weird, guys, the moment I pop it up, right, there is kind of like a micro stutter. I'm not sure if this is visible on the camera and it doesn't happen all the time. One more time, okay, let's now choose, for example, X. I'm going outside all right now open it i do believe that it works fine right now no visible issues i don't, oh i have to take this back guys and by the way 4k 60 fps for your viewing pleasure those are exactly the things that i'm not happy with consistency right because you see i did it like 10 times on the camera and this one time was really bad okay see still i think still this should be fine-tuned, it's not perfect still. There is this micro lock when I just go inside the recent menu, 
right? The first animation isn't so nice. So let's say that this isn't fixed 100%. Edge panel, if you're using the edge panel for smart select, you'll notice that it's quicker to get into now. All right, let's just try to do something like this. I'm gonna open my edge panel, smart select. Okay, let's select this. Mm, yep. Okay, sketch to image, create GIF, save it. All right, you can also pin it here. Let's try to pin it. It doesn't seem to be so quick. What do you think? If we read the changelog, they're saying that if we are using the edge panel for smart select, we have to notice that it's quicker to get into now, but I don't think it's so quick. See? All right, okay. Maybe I'm nitpicking here. Anyway, it still works. It's not instant, but it's probably better than it used to be. Now, power saving. There was an issue where switching to power saving mode might reset some settings and things have been improved. Now, this is interesting. Let me show you guys. Go inside the settings, click the battery, and this is the power saving. By the way, with One UI 7 Beta 1, they already added some new features here. So let's just try to go. All right, let's just remove this and this. Okay, no power saving. All right, power saving. Yeah, seems to be okay. So let's say this thing is fixed. We can confirm. Something very important, GPS accuracy. GPS functionality has been enhanced, which means better location tracking when you're navigating or using location-based services. Let's install GPS test and see how quick the phone can fix or lock the GPS. I went quickly outside and the GPS log or fix was almost instant. The first five seconds, the accuracy was 10 meters, but after 10 seconds, it went to four meters. So yes, this should be working better now. Use the interface and control, quick panel, the quick panel where you access quick settings should work without errors. Now, now, honestly, I tested this so many times, never had an issue with this, and you know how it works, you can click here and just drag and drop those things, and you can go with the separate view, a right swipe will give you the quick panel, and a left swipe will give you here notifications, and if you don't like it, guys, yep, you can click the panel settings here, and you can choose the together view. So let's just now choose the together view. New settings will pop up by the way. Now let's try to save it and see what is gonna happen. So now guys, everything on one page. I do have the notifications. Yeah, my timer as well, so I'm gonna dismiss it. And of course, also my notifications here. It works like a charm. And by the way, I share this also in my videos. See what happens here, guys. The more you move the slider or any other bar, right? The more brighter the bar will be and the more you shrink it, the less bright it will be. I really love those things. It's attention to the details and Samsung are showing they're committed. So Game Booster now allows you to set screen refresh rate within the Game Booster settings, giving you smoother gameplay or better battery life, depending on your preference. Where is the Game Booster, guys? I'm gonna search it, so Gaming Hub. When you click the Gaming Hub, you can click here. There's gonna be Game Booster. They already introduced some new functionality to Game Booster in the first beta, allowing you to do customizations for individual games. So let's say you can have one game to be optimized for FPS, or then another game to be optimized for screen resolution. And now they added Gaming Motion Smoothness. Set the refresh rate for games. If a game app has its own refresh rate, we'll use that instead. So we can go 60 and 120. Now I know that the Game Booster doesn't have a lot of fans out there. Anyway, it is updated here as well. And last but not least, we have call and messaging. There were some problems with calls dropping or Samsung messages up crashing, but this was never the issue with me because I'm using the Google messages. This kind of replace already the Samsung stock messaging app. So guys, those are all the new changes. Let's test the now bar one more time. I'm gonna start a clock here. All right, timer. And I also want to put a music from Samsung Music. All right. Yeah, usually Samsung Music should also be on the now bar. This is the lock screen. Oh, yeah, you can see, guys, this is the music. Okay, one more time, always on. This clock is working. And what happens when I go inside? I just want to click here. But where is the music up, guys? This is weird. Maybe it's another bug because when I go on my lock screen, I can clearly see that I have this. It's running, right? So let's see. Let's do like this. Hmm, weird. But then again, it's a better and they need to make it perfect. And now, guys, something before the end of the video. And yes, I know you have been waiting for this animation testing. All right, let's just close everything and let's start opening some apps. Ooh, yeah. I can tell you guys, it's looking really, really good. And I know it's not important for a lot of people out there. And I also know this is not 
core functionality but you have to agree with me that when you're paying 1400 euro and this is like the top of the line it has to be really perfect now samsung are closer i do believe with one ui 7 and uh, is this still so nice as all the chinese phones out there or even the iphone maybe not yet right but i do believe that they are really going into the right direction because you can see i was not really able to do this exactly like this like just start and stop this animation in all the previous versions that i've used and we already got a huge boost with the one ui 6.1.1 launcher Right, you can see the animations aren't that bad. One more test for all the animation fans out there. Yeah, it's getting good. I really hope that the final product will shine on the S25 Ultra and the S24 Ultra and the S23 and S22 and also the S21 Ultra. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like videos like this, just go and watch my comparison versus the color OS versus the hype OS and iOS. And you can watch some other videos too. Stay safe, VST over and bye.